Welcome to the video that we have today on solving equations with variables on both sides of the equation. This is part one of a two-part lesson. Part two is just a few slides of um, working with fractions, if some of those variables had fractions in them. That's part two. So let's get started here with part one. These are the same three steps um, as if there was uh, from the previous video that we did with um, the previous video was solving equations with variables on or with a variable on one side of the equal sign. And now this is with both sides and the steps are still the same. You simplify if possible and in this case it's not possible because 2x and 6, um, 2x and 6 are not like terms and then 5 and positive 9 are not like terms either so you can't combine those. So we're supposed to move the variables to one side of the equal sign and it doesn't really matter which side you move it to um, sometimes it's a little bit easier to work with certain numbers like I'm going to subtract 2x so that way when I do 9x minus 2x that leaves me with a positive number and we drop uh, that's a positive 7x right so it's a plus 7x we drop everything else down and the two x's cancel what are you left with a lot of people are going to write six here and it's not six you have to pay attention to the sign you got to be real particular that's a negative six okay that's a negative six there and the numbers without variables to the other side and the numbers without variables to the other side well if we move the numbers with variables to the right side we have to move the numbers without variables to the left side and Let's see, which number are we going to move? Well, the negative 6 is already on the left side. The number without variable that we're moving is that positive 5. It's a positive 5, so what's the opposite of positive 5? Negative 5, we're subtracting 5. And we subtract 5 from both sides of the equal sign. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. And we drop down a positive 7x. And how do we get rid of multiplying by 7? We divide by 7. The 7's cancel, and therefore we have x is equal to negative 11 over 7. Let's look here at the next one. Step 1 is to simplify. can't simplify 6 plus 2x, not like terms. Now we need to move the variables to one side and the numbers without variables to the other side. So the numbers with variables, well, we have variables on both sides, but we have on the left side is the only place for a number without a variable. So therefore, I'm going to move the 2x to the right side. I'm going to move the 2x to the right side. What's the opposite of a positive 2x moving over there? That's going to be a negative 2x. Subtract 2x from both sides of the equal sign. Those cancel out to make 0x, which is just 0. We drop down the 6. So we have negative x minus 2x, which is negative 3x. Divide both sides by negative 3, because that's the opposite of multiplying by 3. The negative 3s cancel out, leaving only an x. And you got to make sure you divide by negative 3, because... If we had negative 3x and we divided by a positive 3, well, a negative divided by a positive is a negative. Only the 3s cancel out there. You leave the negative sign. So you got to make sure you divide both sides by negative 3. Here we have a 6 divided by negative 3, and that's a positive divided by a negative. It leaves you a negative, and a 6 divided by 3 is a 2. Uh, and don't forget that we're working backwards through the order of operations here. Let me see you try this one on your own. Pause the video, work it out, and then hit play to uh, come up with a solution there. All right, so I'm looking. Uh, I want to move, since negative uh, 7 doesn't have a variable, I want to move the 5x over. And how do I move a positive 5x? The opposite of it is a negative 5x. 
13x minus 5x is 8x, and that's equal to, those cancel, it's equal to a negative 7. How do you get x by itself? The opposite of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. 8's cancel, so x is equal to negative 7 over 8. This one here, uh, just remember that you should be simplifying. That's the first thing, simplifying. And that would take this positive 4 and multiply it by h, which is a positive 4h, and take that positive 4 and distribute it also to the, the negative 3. A positive times a negative is a negative, and 4 times 3 is 12. And don't forget to drop down the 6. So combine like terms, we're still simplifying here. We can simplify positive 6 and negative 12. What is 6 minus 12? Uh, 6 minus 12 gives you a negative 6. And you drop down the positive 4h. Trying to get h by itself. Um, so we have to move the variables to one side of the equal sign and the numbers without variables to the other side and since negative 6 does not have a variable we're going to move that positive 4h. Opposite of a positive 4h is a negative 4h and you're going to subtract 4h from 2h. Or I'm sorry from negative 2h. On the left side you drop down a negative 6 and on the right side you have negative 2h minus 4h they do have like terms Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6, and then you have the h's. You try to get rid of multiplication, multiplying by negative 6. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 6 is dividing by a negative 6, and those cancel. Dividing by negative 6. So h is equal to... Negative divided by negative is a positive, and 6 over 6 is 1. h is equal to 1. Up there. Let me see you try to do this one on your own. Pause the video, and then hit play, and then you can work it out. Or pause the video, work it out, and then hit play, and check your solution with mine. I'm going to simplify. 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 3, uh, that's a positive 3, so we get a positive 6. Move the numbers without variables to one side. I'm going to subtract, or I'm sorry, I said without variables. I want to go ahead and just go ahead and move the numbers with variables. It doesn't matter whether you move the numbers with or without variables first. But I want to go ahead and move that 2y to the left, the opposite of a positive 2y is negative 2y. And 5y minus 5y minus 2y gives you positive 3y. Drop everything else down. I didn't really need that positive sign in front of the 6, because it's a positive sign. You don't need them uh, to be written. But you know that they're there, even though they're not written. Now let's move the numbers without variables to the other side. Numbers without variables. We have variables on the left side, so let's move that negative 4 by adding 4 to both sides. And drop down 3y is equal to 10. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So therefore, y is equal to 10 over 3. I didn't ask you to give me a mixed number, so you're allowed to leave it there as an improper fraction. If the direction is his head, had said change to a mixed number, you would have given me 3 and 1 third as the mixed number. Okay, now this one here is a little bit tricky because you do have to simplify, and most of you are probably thinking, oh, I can simplify. 7 times 5n 
35 n and 7 times positive 1 is positive 7. Okay, so far that's right. But now over here on the left side, remember when you have that negative sign right there, that negative sign is a negative 1. You have to remember that it's a negative 1. So negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. And negative 1 times negative 3n, negative times a negative makes a positive. And 1 times 3 is 3, and then you have the n. And now we're back to uh, moving all the variables to one side and the numbers without variables to the other side. So we subtracted 3n from both sides. That leaves us with 32n. And we drop down everything else. And if we're trying to get n by itself on the right side, we have to move this 7. Remember, uh, there's addition right there. Working our way backwards, there's addition. You're adding 7 to the variable, so you have to subtract 7. And then you subtract 7. So we get negative 3 minus 7, which is negative 10. 32n is equal to negative 10. Now how do you get n by itself? Divide by 32 on both sides. 32 cancels over 32. And so n is equal to negative 10 over 32. Well, we know a negative divided by a positive is a negative. But what about 10 over 32? 10 over 32 can reduce because 2 goes into both of those. So what you do is you divide 10 by 2, which gives you 5. And you divide 32 by 2, which gives you 16. So n is equal to negative 5 over 16. And let me see you try this one on your own. Don't forget that this negative sign means that there is a negative 1 in front of that parenthesis. So you have to distribute a negative 1 to everything inside the parenthesis. So go ahead and get that done. Pause the video. When you're finished, hit play and you can check your solution with mine. Uh, simplifying first, negative 1 times positive k is a negative k. And negative 1 times negative 8, negative times a negative, is a positive 8. We can still simplify because we have a positive 5 and a positive 8. What is 5 plus 8? Those are like terms. Okay, now let's move the numbers with variables to the same side and the numbers without variables to the opposite side. So let's go ahead and move the numbers with variables. I want to move this negative k here. I want to move the negative k. What's the opposite of subtracting k? Adding k. And remember, there's no number in front of that k, but it's an invisible 1. So we have 10k plus 1k, so 10 plus 1 is positive 11 k. Now we have to move the numbers without variables. It's a uh, positive 4 here. So let's see, we're done simplifying. There's no addition, or I'm sorry, no subtraction to the variable, but there is addition, that positive 4. Subtract 4, subtract 4, so those cancel. We have a positive 11k is equal to, what's 13 minus 4? 9. Divide by 11 on both sides. k is equal to 9 over 11. And that'll be all we have for...
uh, variables on both sides, solving an equation with variables on both sides. Don't forget, there is a part two, and that one has fractions in it. So we will see you in that video.